Hey guys, so finally iOS 17.2 is now officially out for everyone. You can download it to your iPhone by jumping into settings, going into general and software updates and iOS 17.2 is now available for everyone to download it. So of course, in this video, I wanted to share with you guys a few settings you need to change immediately after you update to iOS 17.2. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. Now, the first thing everyone should do right after updating to iOS 17.2 is check for carrier updates on your iPhone. Now, the way you do this is you go into settings, you go into general, and then you head on over into the about section. Now, if there's any carrier updates available for you, they will pop up on your screen in this section right here. Now, keep in mind, not everyone will see a new carrier update, but if you do, you wanna make sure you update your carrier settings for, of course, better network performance on your iPhone. I always recommend you do this. Now, the next thing I recommend is jumping into the app store. And inside of the app store, you wanna go on the top right portion right there, where your avatar is you want to click into this section right here and then you want to swipe down on this page to see if there's any app updates available so if you have any updates they should populate just like so and then you want to update your applications even if you have the automatic app updates enabled on your iphone this is the best way to update your apps because sometimes developers release new updates exactly the same day that apple pushes a new software update for better performance and compatibility with the latest ios update so ios 17 point two of course brings a lot of new features and changes so you want to make sure that you update your applications as well now with this new software update apple added some new widgets as well so you want to head on over into the widget section here and you want to head on over to the clocks i think you guys are going to like this one a lot is a new digital clock widget now available a lot of you guys were asking about this it is now available with ios 17.2 now also for the weather if you scroll all the way to the bottom here for the weather there's also two new widgets for the weather so let's go all the way to the end and we have the sunrise and sunset widget there it is and we also have this one here which is the daily forecast so you want to add those to the home screen of your iphone they look really neat the weather and the clock widget now the digital clock widget is also available on standby and i think it looks awesome so if you have standby on your iphone of course you want to go ahead and add that widget if that's something you would like to have on your standby mode display i think it looks phenomenal with standby as well so yeah new widgets for the home screen and standby with ios 17.2 that i think you guys should definitely check out after you update now two additional changes i think you guys should definitely look into after updating to ios 17.2 one has to do with your contact poster so if you go into your card right here edit your contact poster click on edit you have the customized option available for the posters right here we have a new gradient color option available for your name on the contact posters this is new with ios 17.2 i think a lot of you guys may find this new gradient option available for contact poster really neat i really like it i've been using it ever since it was introduced with ios 17.2 now jumping into messages there's also new body types and shapes for memoji so let's go into the memoji options here so let's click on edit and edit the memoji if we scroll all the way to the end right here you have bodies so you can choose different body types and shapes according to your liking as you can see right here so yeah there's new body styles and shapes available for memojis as well i think apple should make memojis a standalone application at this point but yeah there's new body types as well so now let's talk about some of the features and options you definitely need to change right after you update to ios 17.2 and i want to start off with apple music inside of apple music of course we can now favorite a song by clicking on the star that appears right there on the ui well with 17.2 apple has added a new New playlist for all your favorite songs so every time you favorite a song it will be added to a favorites playlist however if you don't want every song to be added to your favorites playlist when you click that favorite button you can go into your apple music options right here and then you have the option to turn that off right there it is so every song that you add to your favorites will be added automatically to your favorites playlist if you don't want that turn it off and that is how you can go ahead and change those options now i also want to talk about one of the most important new features built into ios 17.2 which is imessage contact key verification this feature is one of those features that you hope you never have to use but you'll be happy to know it's there if you ever need it so you want to go into your icloud 
settings here. And then you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll find the contact key verification. This will prevent any eavesdropping or anyone from snooping around or impersonating someone that you already talked to. So you can go ahead and verify codes by a phone or in person so that you know that you're talking to the person that you want to talk to. Sometimes people try to use other people's accounts to try to contact and get some information out of you and things like that. And this will prevent any eavesdropping from happening. You want to make sure you enabled iMessage contact key verification. This is a feature, again, one of the most powerful features built into iMessage as of right now available with iOS 17.2. Now with iOS 17.2, Apple also expanded on name drop. You can now use it in the wallet application. So if you have a boarding pass or a movie ticket, you can select it and share it using the name drop feature built into the wallet application. Just like so, make sure you bring two devices together and you can share movie tickets or passes or boarding passes and things like that. So super neat expansion here for name drop with 17.2. Now this next one is for the action button on the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. So if you hardly ever use the action button, Apple has added one additional option with iOS 17.2. So let's jump into settings. Let's go into the action button. And if you swipe to the end, you see a new translate option. Of course, once you choose the translate option, you can go into the translate application and choose what language you would like to translate. This is super handy as you have the translate option with this super cool animation there on a dynamic island, as you can see, and you can translate various languages on the go. So if you're traveling, this is very handy. I use this a lot, actually. So yeah, a super useful new action for the action button with iOS 7. 17.2, which is the new translate feature. Now this next two features are for iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. And let's jump into settings here and let me show you, you wanna turn on these two options. The first one is under the camera extension here. And then you wanna go into formats and under formats, you wanna enable spatial video for Apple Vision Pro. Now, even if you don't plan on buying a Vision Pro when it releases, this allows your iPhone to capture 3D video right now. And maybe in the future, you'll be able to watch this on a Vision Pro and you can relive those memories in a 3D or spatial video environment. I think everyone should take advantage of this right now. Even if, again, if you don't plan on buying a Vision Pro, this will capture that video for the future and maybe you'll be able to relive memories on a Vision Pro in the future. Now, another option I recommend you enable here under general, we go into AirPlay and handoff. That's going to be AirPlay receiver. For those of you planning on getting a Vision Pro in 2024, this will allow you to watch videos from your Vision Pro directly on your iPhone. So stream and share content from Vision Pro on your iPhone, as you can see right there. So you may want to enable this option. You can also passcode protected and you'll be able to use Vision Pro and iPhone 15 together in the near future. And that about brings it into this video, iOS 17.2, a big update today. These are some of the features and options you should look into and some of the features and options I recommend you definitely look into right after you update. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.